Hello everyone, let's go through the changes for FRM level 1 curriculum for the year 2024. Just a few things first. So one, the syllabus is going to be exactly the same for all the exam term in any given year. So 2024, when you're looking at the syllabus for the exam term of May, August, November, it's going to be exactly the same. That's one. Second, generally the syllabus is out in the month of December, but the uh, books and all are going to be out by the end of January or the first week of February. So for the May batch, we do not recommend to delay the purchase of books or anything. You can absolutely study with your 2023 or the previous year curriculum basically. And with every year, you can keep on uh, adding the new chapters added or the chapters which have a little bit of changes and all. You can just do those separately. That's what we recommend because students generally start studying earlier. But now that the changes are out, FRM level 1 this time for the year 2024 there's barely any changes there there is almost no change absolutely over here so let's just go through the changes over here so when i'm looking at the content it's actually not 93 but in fact 95 percent of the syllabus is exactly the same the reason i'm saying is because there are certain loss's where it is written that there is a, that they've basically reworded the loss's a little bit where they've just you know changed the word from explain to explain and differentiate something like that so they've just changed a couple of words here and there because of which we feel that there could be a little bit of changes but i ideally my expectation would be that this is going to be just three this is going to be just three percent worth of changes and not more than that so this is what i'm expecting with the syllabus there's barely a few loss's deleted and uh, new LOS is added, as in maybe a couple of chapters over here, as you see, one LOS has been added basically half a page or one page or so in a few chapters. Some of the changes are there, and I don't think these many changes are actually there. It's not these many changes, basically. It's just that the LOSs have been reworded or rearranged or something. So I doubt if there's, be, uh, there's going to be actually any major change in those LOSs also. And barely three, four, five LOSs or so have been deleted, which is not even 1% of the curriculum. Barely a few pages of your syllabus has been deleted. So 99% actually what I see is syllabus is more or less the same in a way of manner of speaking. And also when I'm looking at the changes, so we have only one chapter from the first uh, book foundations of risk management learning from financial disaster in this as well it is almost all the LOSs have just got a little bit of uh, changes uh, in terms of the LOSs have been reworded nothing else so I don't see any major change here even when I'm looking at quants three chapters over here so that also does not have any major change the additions are also very easy and tiny uh, particularly machine learning chapter is what we are seeing over here uh, linear regression in any ways the addition is also not going to be a problem because that's already covered in another multiple regression chapter so that way also this is pretty okay and pretty easy when I'm looking at the rest of the chapters from book three and four I'm combining three and four together because book three and four both have options over here and fixed income and everything so generally i look at book three and four together over here also there's barely any change very very minimal amount of changes given over here so let's just see uh, so basically this is sorry basically this is a summary of changes that I have given to you uh, with respect to the number of chapters the changes the new chapters etc so there is no change in terms of one new chapter being added or deleted within the existing chapters tiny minor changes have happened so nothing to worry about if you've completed whatever chapters have been already given to you that is fine this is a summary of the chapters wherein there is no new or deleted chapters here so it's only the changed chapters marked in yellow and then we will be looking at the sorry We'll be looking at the details on a chapter-wise basis, the entire syllabus. So when I'm looking at the entire first book, Foundations of Risk Management, I have only one chapter, Learning from Financial Disasters. So when I'm looking at Learning from Financial Disasters, just a moment. So I'm checking the detailed version. So actually three LOSs have been reworded. There is no change over here. So this chapter is more or less the same. It's only reworded, so I can actually assume it to be the same. Then when I'm looking at linear regression, I've already mentioned, there is one LOS with regards to R square added, which is already covered in multiple regression. Any which ways, once the new textbooks are out, we are going to be covering the linear regression lecture also. So that is not a problem at all. Then we are moving towards machine learning methods. So machine learning has got two LOSs, which has a little bit of change. So one is on natural language processing, one is rescaling variables. The details on an LOS-wise basis, topic-wise basis within the chapter is given after this sheet. I'll show it to you. So this is just a list of chapters wherein the change chapters are being shown in yellow. 
since all the chapters have got changes over here and there is no new or deleted chapter so it's only yellow color that you're seeing on the screen machine learning again we have one new los over here and this one we have couple of changes and one new los over here as well so this is also not going to be a problem this is again okay so the new part is logistic regression in neural network and with k nearest neighbors we've got a little bit of change but actually it's going to be the same i doubt if there is any change as such there's not going to be much of a change it's more or less similar it's just reworded but we'll be able to confirm when the books once the books have been released then i would move to option market has got one small los deleted on uh, exchange traded stock options and non-standard product that's okay we can just ignore that los or we'll remove that los over here in swaps as well let me move to swaps just a moment okay swaps we have a little bit of change currency swap a part of it is deleted so students can feel a little happy because generally they don't like currency swaps and swaps so much they find it a little difficult but once you understand the derivation of the formula, it's very, very easy and it's very interesting actually. And especially you need to be very comfortable with swaps when you're looking at level two curriculum also, uh, especially when we're working with credit default swaps and all. You'll understand that as you move forward, as you move up. Uh, so that is that uh, when we are looking at calculating and applying, we are measuring monitoring volatility. So this is basically in book four the last book valuation and risk models over here when you're looking at the change basically very very tiny change over here is there in both these chapters wherein earlier we were looking at scenario analysis correlation breakdown using scenario analysis now we are looking at value at risk and expected shortfall same with the first ch uh, chapters change so very very tiny bit of changes are there so not a problem once the textbooks are out we'll just check whatever is additional required or if uh, entire portion is new we'll we'll look into that and we'll let you know so I'll have to get the books uh, in hand before I'm able to comment further. Then we have which chapters here? Country risk. Country risk has got again a tiny change. Actually, it's reworded. It is not even a change. Earlier it was economic growth. Now it is earlier it was economic life cycle growth, and now it is economic growth rate. So very very minor change. I doubt if there's going to be any change in this chapter either. And then when we are looking at stress testing, we have a new LOS. One LOS is new over here. Uh, just just a little bit in terms of regulatory stress testing has been added so very tiny change you can complete i think in the entire curriculum i'll come to one chapter modeling non-parallel apart from this chapter i think the entire chapter even with the existing syllabus if you've completed any of the chapters beforehand there will be no problem just the new los is one page here and there you'll have to do it again as in you'll have to do it not again it's a new chapter it's a new uh, los new part that you'll have to cover again but other than that it's okay and this particular chapter it has got since there's quite a few changes over here i would want you to skip this chapter and redo even if you've done it earlier at home before yourself in that case you should be redoing this chapter once um, as in not refer to 2023 material but rather to uh, to the new 2024 material rest of the chapters in fact most of these changes i don't think they are changes they are just rewording of the los's that's the reason why i told you that actually if you see 97 98 97 percent of the syllabus would be same uh, and we don't think there is going to be five percent changes it's going to be barely two three percent change because once the books are out i'll be able to say with more conviction but uh, we'll have to wait for it a little bit even in this particular chapter there's a lot of rewording mix match of the syllabus as in jumbling up of the chapter or so so i don't think too much has been changed over here and then there is this option sensitivity option greeks chapter i really enjoy this chapter and over here a little bit of new component in terms of vega gamma calculations etc are there gamma and vega calculations have been added little bit of addition is going to be there over here but other than these two chapters in fact this chapter is also 95 percent the chapter is going to be the same there's very very small amount of changes over here this chapter i would suggest you to hold on to and obviously so basically when i'm looking at the changed portion how do we go about it with the uh, preparation aspect so if there is any chapter which has any los deleted you can ignore that if there is any chapter which has got a new los you can wait once the books are out the new chapter the new portion of that chapter will be done first and it will be shared with you so you can do that the los's which have changes or which might have changes we are not sure 
until the books are out. So for that, you just have to wait for a little while. Once the books are out, we'll just confirm if there is any changes or not. If there is any changes, obviously we'll do it again. And if there is no changes, in that case, you don't have to worry. It's all good. For those who have not yet completed any of these chapters, which have changes or uh, etc., you can any which ways complete the chapters as it is, because the changes seem to be extremely, extremely tiny, except for just modeling non-parallel term structure. Except this chapter, you can complete all the other chapters as it is, because there's barely any change. It's barely rewording etc. being done. Of course, every single new LOS that has been added, you will have to do those once the new books are out and I'm sharing it with you. Right. So that you cannot ignore. That has to be done. So once this uh, chapter wise details are provided, every single chapter syllabus has been mapped for you. So basically, this is the reading number as per 2024. This is the chapter's name. These are each of the LOSs in the chapter as per 2024. This is the LOS number. So 2024, this was 1A. 2023 also, this was 1A. So this entire mapping is done. In case you're using 23 books or 24 books, you will have absolutely no problem. I'm just moving to one of the changes. So this was nine, uh, is 9A today and it was 9A in the last year's syllabus also. This is 9D in this year's syllabus and same 9D in last year's syllabus. So that mapping has been done on an LOS wise basis so that you'll have absolutely no problem. So the summary of it is except for modeling term structure, that chapter you can complete the entire curriculum as it is. The new parts, the changed parts, once the book is out, I'll update you on that. The new portions and the change which has changes, extra portions and all, that you'll have to cover with me. Other than that, I think just follow uh, everything that has been given to you, complete your syllabus, study well. I do not recommend you to wait longer for the books in case you are registering for the May exams and uh, uh, start preparation. It does not make sense to wait uh, for the books and all, uh, for the new version of books and delay your preparation. For those who are who have started preparation before January 2024. So if you're starting off somewhere in the end of 2024, January, last week of 2024, then you wait for the new books, it'll make sense. Otherwise, it does not make sense to wait for the new books uh, uh, to start preparing. So I hope this was fine and you've understood all the changes. There's barely anything, so it's very, very simple this year. All right.